Hi, I'm the Bachelor Farmer Cook, and this is Prep Class. And as I promised, we've made it back to the green onions. Now the green onions are kind of a tricky fellow. There's several interesting schools of thought about this, um, but for the most part, the green onions you see are usually just little round tasty bits in salads or on top of twice baked potatoes or in your gumbo or something like that. Um, but they're interesting things to cut. They have several different parts to them, so let's get to them. You've got this big bulbous thing down at the bottom, which nobody's gonna eat, because it's not very flavorful, it's not very tasty. This little part in the middle, which is not very decorative or doesn't really look good, but is very flavorful. And this is the favorite part. This is what everybody thinks looks the greatest on the plate that they're presenting. So line up all your little white things at the end. Now I've seen chefs that cut off all the white parts at the end because yes, we're gonna get rid of them later. Um, but I find if you cut that off, then you kind of lose your handle before you actually work with any of it. So let's get with the first basic cut, which is of course just a basic cut. You're gonna get in here nice and slow, straight, perpendicular, and you're just gonna make straight cuts like this. This is gonna give you nice, cute little rounds that are decorative for garnishment and all those things like that. Now, there's other people I've met that are really, really fancy that insist that it has to be an angle cut so that you have these neat little angle cuts on this pretty, pretty green part. But I've also found that all the people that cut it into these pretty, pretty little angles they don't actually use the rest of the onion. So for all the kitchens that I've worked in, we've always done straight cuts, straight across. Now, usually smaller for soups, um, larger for decorative things, you know, maybe a half inch or so in order to make it decorative. But the secret to green onions is not the first half, which is the leafy part. That part's really, really easy. It goes fairly quickly, whether you do perpendicular or angle. The tricky part is this last half where when you cut it, it turns into little round nuggets instead of anything really decorative or flavorful. So the secret to that is that's when you cut off all the white ends and discard. You take these thicker parts at the bottom and slice them in half. Now by slicing them in half, you're cutting through the fibers. So now, and I'll do this separately so it's on a different side. Instead of having solid little round blocks that are chewy chunks, you've got more of this sort of disseminated, almost looks the same as the other side except being a lighter color. And those are the secrets and the techniques to your green onion. Join us next time when we'll start working with carrots and celery and a little thing known as mirepoix. And until then, remember, even if you get it just a little bit wrong, we'll probably still eat it. And until then, stay out of my cooler.